Hey, how's it going? It's Sam Frost here, back with some more digital marketing advice. In today's short video, I'm gonna answer a question I've seen asked online, and that's the difference between uh, Google Analytics and Google Looker Studio. What are they? What's the difference? Uh, I'll give you a quick rundown. So Google Analytics is Google's platform for collecting data about your website and users and what pages people are visiting, how they interact on your site, where they're coming from, all those kind of things. Google Analytics, very common. The vast majority of websites I would come across have Google Analytics installed. Last year, 2023, there was the changeover from the old version of Google Analytics, Universal Analytics, over to the new Google Analytics 4, which has caused some robust debate, shall we say, in the industry. But long story short, Google Analytics has been consistently around for a long time now, and it is really a platform, both in its older version and its current form, for understanding how your website is being used, where your visitors are coming from, the performance of your site and so on. Google Looker Studio on the other hand, and Google Looker Studio used to be called Google Data Studio, it's now called Looker Studio, which I personally think is a pretty silly name, but whatever. Google Looker Studio is a reporting tool. So that's the biggest difference. Google Analytics collects data. Google Looker Studio doesn't collect data inherently. It's a way of presenting and visualizing data from Google Analytics and other platforms such as Google Ads, as well as third party platforms. So you can connect in things like your meta advertising or you know email marketing performance all sorts of different things are available in Google Looker Studio to connect but Google's own platforms are connectable kind of out of the box and for free you don't have to pay anything to use Looker Studio or to connect in Google's own data sources but you might have to pay to connect in third-party non-Google data sources basically but the big difference is that without Google Analytics for example you can't report in Google Looker Studio on the performance of your site it is just a sort of blank canvas in some respects with which you can bring in data and then report on it. The main reason you might want to use Looker Studio is that it gives you more reporting capability and flexibility. Google Analytics, particularly GA4, the new version of Google Analytics, isn't the easiest thing in the world to report on. GA4 is quite clunky to kind of find reports that in the old version of Analytics were a lot easier to find. Most clients I talk to, most business owners who use GA4 really dislike it, but if I go along and set up, say, a basic Looker Studio report template for them where the data comes across and they can have all the widgets and charts and reports reports and dashboards they want and they can change the date range and do comparisons and all those kind of things nine times out of ten they'll prefer working out of Looker Studio and so they're kind of complementary to each other if you want them to be you don't have to use either neither is critical to the success of your business analytics is more important in the sense that it helps you to understand but yeah you could still use internal analytics from something like Shopify or Weebly or Squarespace if you wanted to you'll just be missing out on some data Looker Studio is just a system that's going to allow you to report more easily and more effectively and I would definitely recommend for a lot of cases you're better off collecting your data in Google Analytics for passing it across to Looker Studio, building out a template that has all the kind of widgets and elements you want, and then kind of reporting on it from there. So if you've got any questions on this, please do let me know. You can leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.